Hey guys, Coach Adam coming back to you once again. We have Michelle with us. So today we're going to go over the ab mat sit up. So Michelle's going to sit down and some common questions we have with the ab mat. You do not have to use this for sit ups, um, but what this does is there's two curves here. It helps keep your spine straight when you lay down. If this side doesn't feel good, you can spin it around to this. It's a little bit more angled. Either side is okay. So Michelle's down. She'll slide this right up to her butt. She's going to lay back down on it. And that should feel good. If it doesn't, she can spin it and use the other side. And if she doesn't like it at all, she does not have to use it. That's fine. So she doesn't mind it. She uses it. So basic sit-up. She's going to do two sit-ups. Perfect. So feet on this, guys. This is pretty simple stuff here. But position. Feet can be um, straight out. That's fine. If she does that, Michelle's going to come up and touch her toes. If you don't want to do that, you can put your feet together. We call this a butterfly position. Same thing, she's going to come up and reach for her toes. Or she could bend her knees, and in this position, again, we want her chest to her quads. Again, as you lay down. A couple faults we see with using the ab mat is, if Michelle sits up, some people actually sit directly on the ab mat, and we don't want to do that because now her back is not going to be aligned up with the curvature of the ab mat. The whole thing with that is when she lays back, it keeps her spine straight, and it makes the sit-up more comfortable when she comes up. Pretty much the ad sit-up, guys.